Hello viewers, welcome to Senior College Mathematics. In this series of teachings, we have college slash foundational statistics. Lesson six, measures of spread or variation or dispersion for grouped data. In this group, we want to review mean deviation, variance, and standard deviation for grouped data. In our previous lesson, we have explained mean deviation, variance, and standard deviation. But we want to take another version of the formulas for variance and standard deviation. With that assumed mean, you can obtain the variance using this formula. This formula is directly from the first one when it is expanded. With assumed mean, you have variance in this form, while standard deviation is the positive square root of the variance. So with that assumed mean, you have this formula for standard deviation and with assumed mean you have this for standard deviation we have examples number 17 the data below gives masses in kilogram of 35 students in a particular school you have the various masses a part of the question using the above given data construct a group frequency table with class interval 40 to 44 45 to 49 50 to 54 and so on be part of the question from the table using an assumed mean of 52.0 and correct to two places of decimal calculate the Roman figure 1 mean Roman figure 2 variance Roman figure 3 standard deviation solution part a group frequency table we have class interval given in the question following the pattern we have the last one as 70 to 74 because the highest mass is in this interval of course you have your s because we are asked to find the mean we need s you don't have s directly from the data so s is the midpoint or class mark to obtain s the class interval you add the lower and upper class limit divide it by two so 40 plus 44 you have 84 divide by two you have 42 and so on if you do the same for the rest class intervals you have the corresponding values of s now we have frequency remember to get frequency you need to do tally tally is stroke representation of frequency what this five means is that between 40 between 40 to 44 you have five masses between 45 to 49 you have six masses and so on we are using the assumed mean approach and the mean is given as a plus summation fd over summation f so we need t d is s minus a a is the assumed mean given as 52 in the question what you do is that you subtract 52 from 
each value of s in this column you have this column down next we get fd you use the frequency column to multiply the deviation column 5 times minus 10 you have minus 50 6 times minus 5 you have minus 30 10 times 0 you have 0 and so on we have d squared because in order to calculate the variance you need d squared and f d squared from the variance formula to get d squared you square the deviation column all true minus 10 squared is 100 minus 5 squared is 25 and so on to get f d squared you use the frequency column to multiply d squared column so you have 5 times 100 that is 500 you have 6 times 25 150 now let's take 3 times 225 you have 675 and so on from the formulas we need summation of frequencies you add it and you have 35 we need summation of fd if you add this column down you have 75 and we need summation of fd squared and when you add this column down you have 2725 with this you can find the required parameters be part of the question find the mean and we are using the assumed mean approach you have it in this form the assumed mean is 52 from the question summation fd from the table 75 summation f from the table 35 if you divide this you have 2.14 so we have 52 plus 2.14 and that is 54.14 54.14 then variance this is the variance formula from the table summation f d squared is this summation f d is 75 over summation f 35 or squared here is also 35 when you square this bracket you have this result what we have here is fractions subtraction you find the lcm of 35 and 1225 this is the lcm if you divide the lcm by 35 you use that result to multiply this you have this result you divide the lcm by the second denominator you have one times this it remains the same when you subtract you have this result after division you have this to two places of decimal you have 73.2 seven the roman figure three of parts b is standard deviation which is the positive square root of the variance so you take the square root of this result not the approximated one so you have square root of this result which is the variance and you have this to two decimal places you have 8.56 example 18 the following are the prices in naira of 50 articles in a shop you have the various prices 
a part of the question make a frequency distribution table using intervals 1 to 10 11 to 20 21 to 30 and so on be part of the question find the mean median mode standard deviation of these prices solution following the previous lessons we have this frequency table already the class interval you have a pattern to follow if you follow that pattern it will get to 61 to 70 because the highest prices are in this interval to get your s which is the class mark or midpoint you take the average of each class interval that is 1 plus 10 11 divided by 2 5.5 11 plus 20 31 divided by 2 15.5 and i told us that you can as well get the class interval which is 10 once you obtain the first class mark keep on at the 10 till you get to the last one of course you have the frequency to get the mean you need to get fs product of f and s if you add the frequency column you have 50 if you add fs column in order to get the mean you have 1985 with this table we can calculate the mean that is big part of the question before we proceed let us just find the mean because this table will enable us to do that so mean price is equal to summation fs over summation f so you have 1985 divided by 50 that is 39 naira 70 kobo as the mean price as the mean price for the 50 articles in the shop roman figure 2 of part b is calculation of the median price and we have this formula to do that lb is lower class boundary of the median class for that reason in the previous table we need to add the column for class boundary this means cumulative frequency before the median class with this we need to add cumulative frequency column let's start with the class boundary to get the class boundary you need to get the boundary value which is difference in adjacent sides divide by 2 you can take 11 to 10 you get the difference you can take 21 to 20 the difference is always 1 if you divide 1 by 2 you have 0 0.5 as the boundary value to get lower class boundary this side you subtract the boundary value from the lower class limit so 1 minus 0 0.5 you have 0 0.5 11 minus 0 0.5 you have 10.5 and so on to get the upper class boundary you add the boundary value to the upper class limit so 10 plus 0 0.5 you have 10.5 20 plus 0 0.5 
you have 20.5 and so on next column is cumulative frequency you start with the first frequency that is two you add two to five you have seven add seven to seven you have 14 add 14 to 8 you have 22 add 22 to 15 you have 35 sorry 37 37 plus 10 you have 47 47 plus 3 you have 50 in order to find the standard deviation we need to get s squared and f s squared so you square each value under s you have s squared s squared you use the frequency column to multiply s squared column and you have this column now let's get the median class median class is total frequency n divide by 2 so if you divide 50 by 2 you have 25 and 25 can be accommodated where you have 35 so this becomes the median class in this place lower class boundary for the median class is 40.5 frequency of the median class is 15 cumulative frequency before the median class is 12 class size sorry it is 22 class size is 10 with this we can get the median price I have already explained all the values in the median formula next thing is to insert them respectively if you simplify you have this result divide 50 by 2 you have 25 minus 22 over 15 times 10 if you simplify the bracket you have this result times 10 before you add you need to multiply so 30 times 3 times 10 is 30 divided by 15 you have 2 so we have 40.5 plus 2 and that is 42 naira we have 50 kobo Roman figure 3 of the problem is the mode price or modal price which is obtained with this formula the modal class is the class with the highest frequency and that frequency is 15 that frequency is 15 so for that category the lower class boundary of the modal class is 40.5 Theta 1 becomes 15 minus 8. That is, you subtract the frequency before the modal frequency from the modal frequency. Then, theta 2 is the modal frequency minus the one after it. That is 10. And C is the class size. If you insert all the figures in the formula, you have this result when you simplify you have 40.5 plus 7 over 12 times 10 if you simplify this term you have 40.5 plus 5.83 and that is 46 naira 33 kobo as the modal price lastly in that question we are required to find the standard deviation price because we have without assumed mean this is the formula from the table we know summation f 
S squared summation F S and summation F from the two tables previously. If you insert the respective values in the formula, you have this result. If you divide this and square it, you have this. You divide the first term, you have this. After subtraction, this is the result. And when you check the square root to two decimal places, you have 15 naira 37 kobo. End of lesson 6. Thanks for watching and learning. Don't forget, watch out for more from the voice of Peter Kos. Lastly, if you are not safe, your life is in crisis. To avoid that, you simply give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and confess him as your Lord and personal Savior every day of your life. If you are safe already, congratulations, live righteously and be prepared because on the last day, some will be taken and some will be left. Take good care of yourself. Stay out of trouble. Study your books. Do the needful at all times. Flee every appearance of evil. Don't defraud others to make money. Use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally. And the Lord will bless you. Goodbye and stay tuned.